AMC stock borrow fee raises a yellow flag for short sellers. This is a new article from another mainstream media outlet. So guys, I made a video a few videos ago talking about the CTB with AMC stock and how short sellers are going to have to pay up if they want to continue to short AMC and APE. The cost to borrow is getting more and more expensive. This could be an indication that short sellers are going to want to flee from the trade. But we'll know more over the next few trading sessions. Everyone has heard of buy low, sell high. Actually, doing that though is something that not everyone does. Many people wait until the price is running and FOMO is rampant before they buy in. It's human nature. We need to have the self-awareness to know what this is. AMC traditionally only offered shares only when it was beneficial. They sold shares when the equity price was above fair value. There are two traders who buy above fair value. Buyers who are unaware and don't care about fair value or buyers who are buying to close shorts. So ever since we've had a few days to sort of, you know, think about the entire dilution and the idea of ape shares being offered, comment down below what you think of it at this point. Instead of all this posturing, why not just go ahead and pay us and be done with it? It's going to happen anyway at some point, but if you idiots do it soon, it will cost you way less and possibly save you from jail when you break the market and destroy the economy for like the third or fourth time in a row. We have a few new tweets to go through. I'll just leave this here. We have Charles Payne quote tweeting a tweet that says, why do you pander to the apes? You know they don't understand the market and are just focused on asinine conspiracy theories. Moaz that don't exist. Why not tell them the truth and educate them? Squeeze already happened hold these bags, etc, etc. And Charles Payne responded with, what they are fighting for goes beyond the comprehension of many observers, goes way beyond investing, basic investing. They could probably educate you. I, I admire their determination. I get nothing from it other than being inspired by folks fighting against the system their way. Pander that. So Charles Payne absolutely clapping back at this naysayer trying to talk down upon the AMC apes, saying that the apes are nothing more than conspiracy theorists, something Moist is not going to happen, etc., etc. Now, I can make a one-hour video on what I think about that and how wrong I think the back really is, but let's just put it this way. If AMC stock last year in 2021 already ripped up and squeezed to $72 plus per share, then what makes you think that at this time, with just about the same or higher short interest, and not even mentioning the fact that AMC's fundamentals are so much better than the last run-up, what makes you think that that's not possible? Now, I'm not saying that it's going to happen today or tomorrow, or I'm not saying that it's going to happen for sure at all. But let's just put it this way. If it already happened back in 2021, then what makes you so sure that it won't happen again, and what makes you so sure it won't be even bigger?